What are you doing now? My teeth, they're... They're digested. How? What you, you can't... It doesn't look like you're digesting anything. Well, yeah, there's a... Uh, what are these clips in here? Binder clip. You can't digest that. Why not? Because it's not food. Well, what makes it food? You can swallow it, but you can't what digest you it. Was doing this? Well, then you can digest that. Why is this food? Because it has nutrients in it that are good for your body. Ah. Uh, and so that's what digestion is. It's a process in which your body breaks food into small molecules called nutrients. Now, your body doesn't want to swallow it and then travel like this goes to your arm or this goes to your leg. So it's got to be broken down. And that's why we have two types of digestion. We have chemical digestion, which involves enzymes and acids. You know, if you've ever thrown up, you, you feel the acids in your nose because it doesn't belong there. And then we have mechanical digestion, which is when we chew or as the food goes through our digestive tract, not that this is a digestive tract, but it represents a digestive tract, as the food goes through, these muscular action called peristalsis occurs and squeezes that food throughout all nine meters of our tract, or 30 feet. So the key difference between chemical and mechanical digestion, with chemical digestion, it's a breaking down chemically of the food. Okay, it uses enzymes and acids to break it down. It's a chemical reaction that occurs. Okay, once you have chemical digestion, digestion, you can't get that food back to what it was. Okay, the properties are different. When you have mechanical digestion, like in chewing, okay, if I take a bite of this apple and chew and chew, I can't talk my mouth full. <laughs> it physically gets broken down. Also, your tongue sort of mushes the food. And just before you swallow it, it's this wet ball called bolus. And that's, uh, if it's soft enough, then it can go down your esophagus. Now, in your mouth, you have both kinds of digestion, chemical and mechanical. In your esophagus, because it's moving the food, there's not much digestion that occurs, but we will arguably say it's mechanical only. So it's moving the food down towards the stomach. Okay. In the stomach you have both chemical and mechanical. Mechanical digestion because within the stomach you have muscles that contract and relax which turns the food around, mix it up almost like a dryer um, does with clothing. Okay, It's chemical because it starts to break down the food materials, specifically proteins. With enzymes and acids. And then uh, the large intestine Again, because of peristalsis, you have mechanical only. It, as whatever's left can't be digested, gets squeezed towards the rectum and the anus. But the important thing about the large intestine is that it reabsorbs water so that we, wouldn't, we don't have to drink constantly gallons and gallons of water. It recycles it. And the small intestine, see, as both, there's very little mechanical digestion that occurs. What we're considering is, again, the peristalsis, the movement of materials. Most of the chemical digestion that occurs in your body is not in the stomach, like most people believe. It is, in fact, in the small intestine, where that food material is in there for multiple hours, going through meters worth of intestine, that the nutrients are being absorbed into the bloodstream. Into the bloodstream. And so, how do you fit 30 uh, feet of digestive tract? Well, it's all wiggles around and so on and so forth, like the clowns in a little Volkswagen. And that's how it fits inside our body. Right. And that is chemical digestion versus mechanical digestion.